we now have like gun support on the PlayStation Classic thanks to the team at Autobleem. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please go down below the video, hit subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Now, as I did just mention, we now have light gun support on the PlayStation Classic, which is actually pretty exciting. Now, this is all thanks to Autobleem 1.0, which was just recently released a couple of days ago. Now, for the most part, that is the big change with Autobleem 1.0. We do have some other small features like better gamepad controller support, and there is now also CHD game file support as well. But the big elephant in the room is this light gun support feature built right into the software. Now, full disclosure, there are currently only two types of light guns that are working. You can either go with the gun for IR light guns, or you can also use the Arcade Europe light gun. Now in this video, I'm going to assume you've already installed Autobleem at some point on your PlayStation Classic. But if you are interested in a soup to nuts full tutorial on how to mod a fresh PlayStation Classic with Autobleem, let me know in the comment section down below and I'd be happy to set you guys up that way. But the very first thing that we're going to need to do is download the latest version of Autobleem. That can actually be done right in Discord in the Autobleem channel. Now, I'm going to leave an invite link in the description, as I always do for these types of videos. So if you're not a member of the Discord channel, you're going to have to do that. Next, you've got multiple options to download it. Now, I downloaded mine from the Google Drive. So when I click on that, it's going to provide you access to it. Now, you've got access to a bunch of tools and a themes package, but today we're just gonna be taking a look at the Autobleem 1.0 release. You're gonna right click on that, you're gonna hit download, and it's going to download to your PC. Now, I've already done that, and I've got my files right here. Since it is downloading a zip file, you will need to right click and extract the contents to its own folder. Again, to save time, I've already done this, and I've got all the contents right in here. Next, we need to grab our Autobleem USB drive or hard drive and plug it into our PC. Perfect. So now, as you can see on the left-hand side, I have my USB drive that is labeled Sony. And on the right-hand side, I've got the new update for Autobleem. Process is really simple. We're going to go ahead and drag and drop all of these folders onto our USB drive. Next, it's going to go ahead and transfer that information over. This may take a few seconds, but we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Now, you will be prompted at some point like I have now to replace any of the files that have the same name. In this case, we actually do want to do this, so we'll go ahead and select replace the files in the destination and allow it to finish. Okay, so those files have successfully transferred over to our USB drive. There's not a lot more to do, except we do want to make sure we've got at least some compatible PlayStation light gun games. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those and throw them on the USB drive as well. Okay, so as you can see on the right hand side, I do have a number of PlayStation 1 light gun games. That's including Lethal Enforcers, Point Blank, Resident Evil Survivor, and of course, Time Crisis. So we're gonna grab those games, throw them into the games folder on our USB drive, and we'll be back in just a quick second. All right, amazing. So now we've moved all of our game files over to our USB drive. There's not much left to do here on the computer. We can go ahead and disconnect our USB and plug it into our PlayStation Classic in the OTG port and uh, get this thing up and running. So let's go ahead and make that happen. All right, so we've got Autobleem up and running now. We're gonna go ahead and press X to scan our USB drive to identify the new games that we just loaded onto it. Excellent, so we're ready to go. Now there are a few things that we have to do in order to get those games up and running. Now, in addition to being able to play the light gun games, the team has also included the ability to filter specifically to those light gun games. And as you guys know, with Autobleem, if you press the select button, you can actually filter through different types of games. In this case, we're showing all of our retro arc games. 
uh, and then you can press it again it'll show you the apps and then go back to all of the games now in order for you to be able to filter by light gun games you do have to find those games within the carousel and activate that function so we're going to go ahead and jump over to the first light gun game which is lethal enforcers one and two you're going to go down to your settings and right beside it you've got the game parameters we're going to select that and from the drop down list, you're going to see that there is an option to set this as a light gun game. Now, full disclosure, in order to play light gun games, you have to play them through RetroArch. The built in emulator is just not capable of connecting into those light guns. So every time that you're going to play a light gun game, it's going to boot through RetroArch and one of the PlayStation cores and you're going to play it that way. Next, we're going to do the same for all the other light gun games as well. Okay, so the last title here is Time Crisis Project Titan. We're gonna set that as a light gun game. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go into our main menu, and from here now we can actually press the select key, and that's gonna filter into all of our different categories. There's our RetroArch titles, and there are our light gun games. As you can see, I only have six titles, but they are all gonna be filtered here for easy access. The next thing that we're gonna do is just simply launch any of these titles. So now we've got this game up and running. We've got Point Blank 3 here. We're going to go ahead and press Start and Select on our controller in order to get into the RetroArch menu. Next, we've got to scroll down to our options, and then all we have to do is change the gamepad type to GunCon. So we're going to go ahead and select it from the list, and we're going to hit OK. That's pretty much all that you've got to do in order to get these games up and running. Then you're going to resume the game and you're going to have the light gun connected and working. Now I don't have my sensor set up just yet for this tutorial, but I will set up a separate dedicated video showing you exactly how to get the Arcade Europe light gun. But as you can see on screen right now, a friend of mine, Magnus RC, sent me some footage of the gun for IR working and it works really, really well. So again, if you guys are interested either in a full on from the ground up tutorial on setting up auto bleam for your PlayStation Classic, or a full-on tutorial on how to set up the Arcade Europe light gun for the PlayStation Classic, let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, that's pretty much all I've got for you in this video. Big shout out to the team over at AutoBleam for releasing such an awesome feature. And I want to thank Magnus RC again for the footage. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description down below as well. But that's pretty much all I've got for you guys in this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again real soon.